the face of Pilkington's has always been a female face. My grandma started the business uh, in 1942, uh, which was something that women didn't really do in those days. My grandma basically built this from nothing. Doris Pilkington was working at a bakery and um, the, the owner was retiring and um, he had no family to take over. So while um, my granddad Jim Pilkington was at work, she sold everything that they had, everything in the house, all the jewellery, all the furniture. So um, Jim came home, my granddad, and uh, the house was completely empty and she'd, she'd raised enough to buy Pilkington's Bakery. There was a bread strike in the 70s and we were the only bakery in the area and not just in Stockport, basically in the northwest there was no flour to be had anywhere. Uh, my stepdad at the time, uh, he was working in the business with, him, with him, Pilkington's with my mum and he sourced flour from the Isle of Man which he was bringing it in in Salford Van Hire vans and we had a row of vans here going out every day on ferries to the Isle of Man and they had also decoy vans that were going in opposite directions uh, so people, other people wouldn't know where we were getting it from. We were the only place at the time, supermarkets weren't really selling lots of bread, it was mainly just the bakers and the ones that did, didn't have it anyway because they couldn't bake. And the queue was going down, uh, some, there was two, three hundred people queuing outside the shop constantly all day and the bakery was baking seven days a week, 24 hours a day.